Nagaland, I owe you an apology. The last time I came to Hornbill Festival, I had the full intention of teaching people about the tribes here, especially what a morang is. And I failed. All I did all day was drink rice beer. But I'm asking for your forgiveness. Today I'm going to go around the tribes and I'm going to learn and I'm going to educate outsiders about the different cultural elements of Nagaland, especially what a morong is. Join me. Okay, we're here at the Angami Morong. Let's see if I can learn a little bit about the Angami culture. <laughs> I've been doing my research and I'm going to tell you all about the Angami tribe right now. This is all from the top of my head. The Angami tribe is a ma major tribe in Nagaland, predominantly settled in the districts of Kohima, okay? Chumo, Dekima and Dimapur. There are over a hundred Angami Naga villages spread across four ranges, namely southern... I'm, I'm reading this off a board, you can probably tell. Um, so the Angami tribe fall under the Tenyimi family. Maybe we can ask someone from the Angami tribe. Hi, how are you doing? Hi. Yes. Okay. Uh, he'll be in a better position to explain it to you. Uh, excellent. Amazing. Let's do that. Yeah, he's the president. Uh, okay. Sir, hi. How are you? Welcome. I'm fine. I'm thank, fine. You. Thank, thank you. So, thank you so much for yeah, uh, for from having me from England, London. England, London. Yes. You are you are Angami. Yes, Angami. You're the probably the most perfect person I could be speaking to. I'm trying to um, I'm trying to learn a bit about the Angami tribe. Okay. Okay. Angami and tribe is one of the major tribe among the Naga tribes. And which state the Angami tribe? Angami tribe dominates three districts. Three districts in, in Nagaland state. Which are? Uh, Dimapur. Yeah. Chumukedima. Yeah. And Kohima. Okay. And uh, we speak Tengide as our common dialect. And could you maybe teach us a couple of words in Tengide? Uh, well, uh, 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 Vorlie. Vorlie. Yeah. Welcome. Welcome, Volia. Yeah. People of Angami tribe, Volia. And how would I say thank you? Mbezie. Uh, Mbezie. Mbezie. Thank you. Excellent. Thank you. Wow, sir. Mbezie. Yeah. Thank you so much thank you. Thank for the for the lesson. That couldn't have been any more perfect for me. Thank you so much. Yeah. That's the Angami tribe here at Hornbill Festival. Oh, and and I, can I just say how great you look? Seriously, you look so good. I love this. This is thank traditional you. Angami. Yeah, traditional Angami. Fantastic. Yeah. And you look so suave, looking like a wow in the suit, sir. Thank, Thank you so much. You. Thank you. I really appreciate it. We got an amazing, off to an amazing start there with the president of the Angami tribe, Morang. Let's see if we can have some more luck at the Chakasung tribe. See what we can learn about the Chakasung community. Uh, because it's going well so far. And I think it's probably because I haven't had any rice beer yet. I love the vibe at the Chakasung Morang. Everyone's eating, everyone's having a drink, everyone's chilling. Yo, hey, how you doing, brother? Nice Good to meet you. Yeah, yeah. Hi. Are Renny's you? Friend. Say again. Renny's, Renny's friend. friend. Exactly. <laughs> Renny's friend. Renny's my friend. Yeah. <laughs> Lotta. Exactly. I'm a Lotta guy now. Nice to meet you, brother. I'm just looking for people of that can, someone that can teach me a bit about the Chakasung Morum. <laughs> so I've asked. I'm gonna go. I'll speak to this lady and see awesome. if she can help me. Yes, of course, of course. I'll tell you what, I'll go to the, I'm in the other, the Morongs, and then I'll come back. Okay, Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Okay, in five minutes, I'm going to come back to the Chakasung Morong, and we're going to learn a bit more about the Chakasung tribe. But in the meantime, let's go next door. Hi, Mike. Hi, how are you doing? <laughs> nice to meet you. That's so cute. Hi, Mike. Okay. Sorry, after you, after you. Okay, the Pottery Tribe. The Pottery Tribe. I could just read this board, but that's a bit boring. Let's see if someone can explain to us. Hi. Of course you can, of course you can. Hi, how are you doing? Your subscribers. Your subscribers, sir, thank you so much. Yes, of course, yeah. Let's take a, let's take a selfie. What's the name of this tribe? Is it pronounced pottery? Pottery. Pottery, yeah. okay. 
Amazing. Thank you, Thank Thank you, you so you much. <laughs> wow, cool spear. Yeah. I'm here with Widgesey of the Pottery Tribe. Now, Widgesey, how are you? Are you okay? Yeah, I'm good. Are you having a good hornbill? Yeah. <laughs> Fantastic. So, my name's Mike. I'm just trying to learn, I'm trying to teach people a little bit about the pottery tribe. From the beginning? From the beginning, let's go. All right, in the beginning, God created heaven and earth. <laughs> <laughs> in the beginning, God created heaven and earth. Let's skip a few billion years. Yeah, yeah. Okay, we pottery comprise of different places. We come from different places. Our ancestors, they came from different places. Yeah. We have that history. So one is, uh, we Meluri as a village, we came from Rengma. Came from Rengma, Rengma villages. Yeah, ah. because there is a story, there is a certain particular story. It says that we, the Rigma people, chase a white stick. White snake? Stick, stick, stick. stick. Yeah, stick. yeah. And then while chasing, they counter different kind of places. So yeah. they lost their way back home. Yeah. So they settle in one particular place as yeah. Mallory. Okay. And then when they settle there, they kind of find a bamboo. Yeah. They find a bamboo after killing a stick. Okay. After killing a stick, they find a bamboo. So after cutting that, down that bamboo, yeah. they found a rice, it seems. Okay. Inside the bamboo. They found the rice? Yeah. And that bamboo rice is called Aju. Aju. bamboo name is Aju. Yeah. Wow, okay. And then after that, they try to settle then settle down in that particular place because they find it, that place is a blessing. Ah, okay. So that so, place is a blessing because it provides for them. It's yeah, provided yeah. for them. Yeah. So it's a blessing. Fantastic. Yeah. Um, okay, so before I go, could you teach me a couple of words? Um, what's what's the language that pottery people speak? Okay, what's we, the language? We pottery comprises of different villages, and th every villages speak different dialects. Oh, see, this is what's crazy to me. Okay, India as a whole has twenty-two main languages, and then you go into Nagaland, and there's like seventeen tribes with their own language, and then within the tribes, there's more dialects. Yeah, and that is, and they're all completely different. So, which dialect do you speak? We speak Puturi as a Meluri language. Official okay, language, yeah. so can we learn a couple of words in Puturi? All right, I can. So, uh, how would we say, like, welcome? Turulu, uh, turulu, Again? Turulu. 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 Yeah. Fantastic, and how would I say thank you? Manashe. Manashe. Brother, Manashe, thank you so much. You've been an incredible, incredible host Welcome. at the Pottery Tribe. Uh, I really mean it with my heart, so thank you so much. Welcome. Thank you, brother. Okay, that was another fantastic little lesson about the Pottery Tribe. And Gami done, Pottery done. I'm probably not going to make all of the tribes today, but um, apparently there's someone here at the Chakasung Tribe that can teach us a little bit about the Chakasung history. So let's see. Okay, I tried coming to the Chakasang tribe to speak to some people that could uh, that could teach me about Chakasang, but they're really busy, so unfortunately we might not be able to do Chakasang today. But we're right next to the Rengma tribe. Let's speak to some Rengma tribe experts. How are you? What's your Hi, name? Thank you. My name is uh, Nichello. 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 So nice to meet you. My name is Mike. Mike. Um, I'm from? I'm from England, London. England, London. Yeah. Uh, and I'm here and I'm, I'm making, I really want to teach people a little bit about each tribe. Because I know that many people from other tribes, they don't know all of the, they don't know a lot about the other tribes. And neither do I. So I'm learning, learning from it. So could you teach me a little bit about the history of the Rengma tribe and the Rengma community? Yeah. So what would you start with? Uh, how did the Rengma tribe start? Do you know? The Rengma tribe is actually we are coming from the uh, uh, Burma. Burma. Uh, Burma. Okay. And, and after that we have stayed in the Kajakeno. Kajakeno. Uh, and after that we shaped to Kohima. Kohima. Uh, and after that we shaped to uh, Natsuki. Natsuki. Uh, Natsuki. Huh. And after that uh, Lazami. And after that, Rima. Rengma. Yeah. And the, so, which uh, which district do the Rengma people mostly live? The Rima district is own district is the Semenyu district. Semenyu district. Yeah, right. oh, I have some friends from Semenyu district. Yeah, yeah. Fantastic. And if I wanted to speak some words, what's the what's the what's the Rengma language? What's the Rima dialect? Rima tribe is 
is our the Rimba is two two languages there. Two languages. Yeah. Northern, Southern. And which do you speak most? I'm my the Northern Rimba. You're the Northern. Yeah. So how would I say welcome in the Northern language? If I wanted to say welcome. Uh, welcome is. Uh, uh, Nasiabale. 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 And if I wanted to say thank you? Thank you. Nangasencha. Nangasencha. Sir, Nangasencha. Thank you so, so much. I really appreciate your time. Okay. You're an expert and have a great a great day, okay? Okay. Thank you, sir. We're on a roll here at the Hornbill Festival. We've met three really cool people who have taught us some really uh, interesting things about their their tribe. So next we're going to go to the Sumi tribe. We're going to see if we can... Sumiki tribe. No, we're not. We're going to go to the Champo tribe. The Sumi tribe. I don't know. See, I don't even know. This is... Oh, we're going to the Lota tribe. My hometown tribe. Champo. That's like the name of the Lota Morong, I think. And... Uh, I've been to this Morong many times and I know a lot about it already. Not too much about it, but I know a little bit about it. We're going to see if we can find another Lotta expert who can teach me a little bit about this because I'm going to be I'm going to be on the rice beer soon. I know I'm going to be on the rice beer soon. Damn, big fan! Thanks, bro. Thank you. Thank you. Are you loving home meal? Wait, I love it, bro. I love it. I love it, boys. I love it. Thank you. This is the culture. It's the guy. I love it, bro. I love it. Thank you, bro. Right, we need to find Rennie. Because Rennie is a lotter. Rennie knows everything about everything about the lotter tribe. And I've lost him and I can't find him. Rennie! Rennie, I miss you. Where is Rennie? I've lost him. Okay, let's go to the Almorong. I've just been to the Lotta Morong. Unfortunately, there was no one there that felt comfortable enough to really teach me about the history. Hey, Mike. Hey, but we're at the Almorong. <laughs> this is my favorite Morong anyway. <laughs> Hi, boys. How are you doing? How are you doing? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. How are you doing? I want you to show me. I want to feel what love is. Feel what love is. Do you speak English? You speak English? No, no, I, 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 I You I can't. I can speak. You, maybe you could speak for me. I Is can translate okay? it for you. Okay, cool. So I'm here at the Owl Tribe, uh, and I've met two gentlemen that are willing to explain a little bit to me uh, about the history of the Owl Tribe, and maybe learn a, a couple bits of, of, of language here. So, sir, hi, what's your name? My name is Lano Ao. Lano Ao, nice to meet you. My name is Mike, and this is... Muajamir. Muajamir, thank you. Nice to meet you, brother. So, um, if, uh, if you were speaking to someone that knew nothing about the Owl tribe and the Owl community, what's something you could teach them about the origins of the Owl tribe? Where did they come from? How did they settle, how did they settle in that district? Um, we Owls are a tribe yeah. which comprises of 18 tribes in Nagaland. Yeah. We are one tribe of all our tribe. Yeah, of course, yeah, the our tribe. Yes. And we are we have been told that we have our origin is from Jungli Inti. Jungli Inti. Yes. Which is? Which is a name of a place. Okay. There uh, we have Long Trok. Yeah. Long Trok is a uh, uh, big stone, huh. big stone where you will find six stones. Six stones? Yes. Okay. And we have been told that uh, three female and three male has come out of the stone. Wow. <laughs> wow. So unique. And, and can you still go to this place? Yes, yes. Okay. It is around 20, 30 kilometers away from Wokchung. Away from Mokichong. Mokichong. Ha, ah, fantastic. In the in the place called Chungli Imdi. So this is a very iconic place. It's a very I iconic place to the Al community, the Al tribe. Yes. Wow, fantastic. How would I say like welcome in Chungli? How would I? Is there a word for a greeting or welcome? Arung. 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 Come. come. Arung. Come. Exactly. Arung to the Al to the uh, Al tribe. And how would I say thank you? 
Kangabala. Kanga I actually learned this the other day. Kangabala. Well, gentlemen, Kangabala. Thank you so much for your time. I really I Kangabala. I appreciate it so much. Um, and yeah, a lot a lot of other people will appreciate it too because one thing I've noticed going around is that lots of youngsters they don't know so much about even their own tribes or the history. So Thank you for teaching us, and thank you for teaching the world, hopefully. Yeah. Everywhere! <laughs> Hi, guys! Been, oh my been, god, so good to see you here! So nice hey, to Mike. see you! Yes, bro, hey, how you doing? Hey. <laughs> oh, Mike, what's your rest, bro? Hey, yeah. Mate, we're having some nice fish. I am reading with you, bro. Nice to meet you, too, bro. What's your name? <laughs> 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 nice! Yeah. 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 Um, many. many. <laughs> so nice to see you guys. <laughs> what a surprise to see you here. <laughs> you guys, I got to look at the English number. Yeah, I'll add it on WhatsApp. Ah, bro. Okay, cool. Just ping me there, right? Yeah, one second. One second. Right <coughs> um, I need you to explain to me a little bit about the, the Lotta uh, uh, tribe yeah. and a little bit about what a Morong is. Yes, yes. Yeah. We Lotta, we came from the. Uh, we came from Korea. <laughs> came from Korea, and that was it. You get so camera shy for some reason. <laughs> What do you think, though? Do you think we could be speaking seriously? Because I've done about, what? about, what? about, yeah, said, okay, about the origins of Lotta yeah, yeah. and what a morong is. Origins of Lotta. So I'm here at the Lotta morong and I found actually the perfect person for this, who I'd lost for the past two hours. I'm back with Rennie. Yay. Yes, so, Rennie. Yes, yes. So Rennie's Lotta through and through. He's from a Lotta family. Uh, which is based in Waka. Now, we're going to finish the video off with this. I... <laughs> <laughs> I'm also from Waka. Nice! I'm from the same colony. colony. From the same colony? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just nice. <laughs> I'm here outside the Lotama Run. I've been reunited with Rennie finally. He left me. And I was lost without him <laughs> for two hours. And I'm also here with Mero. Okay. Yes! Now Morero is Lotta Mero, through and Mero. through. You can just—he looks, looks like a badass, doesn't he? Mero, the other day I asked someone what a morong was. Okay, yeah. and they gave me a very poor excuse. Yeah. Uh, not that. Uh, I asked someone what a morong was, and they gave me a very, very poor explanation. They just told me it was where someone, where boys eat and sleep. Could you tell me what is a morong? Okay, a morong is in a traditional institution. Oh, among all the tribes in Nagaland. Wow. Okay. Now this this institution, uh, it's, it encompasses all activities. Okay. So what one of the thing is it's all about training for warfare. Training for warfare. Warfare, and then all the cultural activities, and then it's it's in English. Morong is like a dormitory for boys. A dormitory and then, for boys. Yeah, yeah. And then we have for girls. Now for girls, before the boys, let me go to the girls. Yeah. For girls, uh, they learn weaving. And traditional kind of weaving, yeah. making, and all. Huh? Yeah. For the boys, it's uh, mostly confined with uh, warfare. Okay. okay. So, so they will sleep in the dormitory. Yeah. That is a moral. Yeah. Um, usually, boys 13 and above. Okay. Till they get married. Yeah. Okay, okay. That means a bachelor, bachelor dormitory. So they'll sleep there, they'll drain there, they'll eat there, and if there's any like a war going on between the villages, yeah. The, it will be more from the dormitory I mean, instead of morong itself. Okay. They'll go to war. Okay. okay. And then it's also a place for learning uh, handicrafts. Okay. All kind of cultural activities, like I said. Yeah. So uh, it's it's like a it's like a school. It was basically like a kind of a place to raise them. What yeah, it sounds yeah, yeah, like. Yeah, I mean, yeah. um, because it wasn't maybe possible for them to do all these things at their own home, right? Um, because their parents probably had lots of other things to worry about and lots of things to do. So if you can send your children to one place where they can learn all of these things, warfare, school, handicrafts, um, you know, uh, the, the, the local dialects and all these things. So I couldn't have asked for a better explanation. Thank you so much. Um, what's your, your channel name? Chumbo Ramo. Chumbo Ramo. Okay. Subscribe to Chumbo Ramo. This guy is an expert and he's brilliant yeah. and he looks so cool. Um, and thank you so much, sir. Thank you so much. I appreciate Mike. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so I hope that I I hope I earn your forgiveness by really actually teaching people this time. I didn't have one rice beer all day, and I feel like I accomplished it. I'm sorry if I didn't get around to all the tribes, uh, but yeah, thank you for watching. Cheers. Cheers. Now I'm going to enjoy. It. Yes. Again, uh, you know for you. Mm. <laughs> no, you know for you. Yes. Yeah, yeah, do, do it.
<coughs> and this is how we're gonna see it out. <coughs> ah. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice. Thank you, brother. 